Hi guys, welcome to the channel. I am Minister Latasha with some quick words of encouragement for you guys on today. I wanna say first off, Happy New Year. Welcome to the year of 2023. Um, when the year of 2023 came to mind for me, Psalms 23 um, came up in my mind. And I truly believe that each verse will be played out accordingly um, throughout the months of this year. Um, so pay, um, meditate on Psalms 23 this year and just watch God move on that. Um, I know in previous videos or the last video that I posted, I also posted that um, this year will be a year of revisitation, meaning that um, God is going to allow you to revisit some situations where you can right your wrongs. Um, he's going to let you revisit some opportunities that you missed out on being out of alignment or out of position. Um, he's also going to also gonna let you revisit some um, situations where you fail the test to give you the opportunity to pass the test this time um so just be looking out for those um things make sure you use your discernment in these revisitations making sure that it is not of the enemy because the enemy also will bring things back to you to um distract you or to get you off course as well um so make sure that you're definitely asking god to um, strengthen your discernment in this season but um 2023 i'm truly believing god that this is going to be a year of of um just supernatural um we're gonna see a lot of supernatural things there's a lot of things going on in the world a lot of evil things going on in the world a lot of people are leaving here um on a daily basis a lot of celebrities if you paid attention is have been leaving here in the past year and so god is gonna do some things where it amazes people where you like no man can't get the credit for this god had to do this and um i'm excited and i'm here for it um you know, I also wanted to come on here today and just talk to you guys about, you know, I've been seeing a lot of people doing their New Year's resolutions. Um, I usually do a um, a yearly vision board every year for the new year. And then what I do is I revisit my previous year vision board and I just check off what God has already done for that year. Um I put, you know, I always use Habakkuk 2 and 2, and I always place my vision on that verse and on, in that chapter. So, you know, I encourage you guys to do the same and just watch God move on the behalf of those visions that you um, made plain to him. Um, but I wanted to talk to you guys today on the walk. Um, me being in ministry, I can definitely tell you that this walk is not in easy. Um, it gets hard. You experience some things that make you want to throw in the towel sometimes. Um, you um, come into communication or into contact with people that make you question um, God's people sometimes. Even in the churches, you know, you sit back and you watch some things that goes on in the church or goes on with leaders or how leaders treat people, the lack of compassion, the lack of empathy, the lack, the lack of sympathy, even the lack of spiritual senses. And I know you're like, Latasha, what do you mean by that? I'm saying where if I'm in, in, in your presence and I'm silently crying out for help, but you're not um, using your spirit you're not sensitive to the spirit to pick me up in the spirit, you know, things like that. Um, people prophet lying, all kind of things go on and it makes you want to just throw in a towel. It makes you want to say, well, God, what, why am I trying to, um, walk out this, this purpose this calling you have on my life when there's so much confusion around and so many things going on to make you doubt if this really for you. And I wanted to come on here and encourage you guys today, just being transparent to let you guys know that you're not alone when you feel like that. You're not alone when you have those thoughts. I have those thoughts. I go through the same things and I have to go back to the source, which is God to get recharged. I have to remember that it's not what man wants you to be but it's what god called you to be and who god called you to be you know a lot of time people in ministry will try to mold you into their image and they try to make their ways right and so you have to have that uh, that personal relationship with god where you can seek him and that you know that you know that you know that it's him that is giving you the advice the revelations and the um instructions for your walk because my walk and your walk won't be the same um my calling and your calling won't be the same you know, and that doesn't mean that it's not right. It just means that it's, that God gave you your personal vision, ministry, and he gave me mine. Um, so, um, 
I don't want you guys to get discouraged and things thinking, you know, looking at man, because man, I have you throwing in the towel all the time. Um, it used to be a time where you know you could go to prophets and you could trust the prophets of the church, but if you don't test the spirit by the spirit, um, you will be deceived every time because there's so many false prophets out here. Um, and then when you have too many people in your ear, if you have too many spiritual leaders in your ear, confusion and chaos will occur. Um, that's why you need to have a solid, um, strong spiritual person on your side, someone that you can, um, you know their spirit, they know your spirit, and you can trust the spirit within them, the God within them. Um, I want you guys to be encouraged in this year and in this season. Um, especially if you have a calling on your life, especially if you're in a ministry, especially if you're trying to fulfill your God-given vision, um, looking around will discourage you. If you're looking in the natural, it will discourage you. You have to stay in the spiritual realm. You have to ask God to um, open your spiritual eyes, allow you to see in the spirit, allow you to walk and talk in the spirit. You know, you have to get your discernment um, strengthened. You have to ask God for wisdom. Wisdom, wisdom, wisdom. Um, I can't stretch that enough. This walk ain't easy. It's not easy at all, but it's, it's well worth it. Um, you know, you have to feed yourself with God's word. And although that may get hard sometimes, you know, we, we get busy with daily routines and things in our personal life to where we put the word on the back end you know, or on the back burner. But we have to fill ourselves with his word so that we can fight the attacks of the enemy with the word because you know the word is one part of the armor the full armor it's our sword is what we is our weapon that we use to fight with and we need it and um you know every it doesn't matter how far if you're a babe in christ if you're an elder in christ the enemy is going to attack and you have to be ready and you have to be prepared you know the enemy even came for jesus you know and when he came for jesus he was throwing scripture at him you know but god but Jesus, he was strong, you know, he stood on the word, he, he, he stood on the authority of it, and he didn't buckle, he didn't break, and that's how we as babes and, and elders in Christ have to be. Um, we definitely have to strengthen our, our prayer walk, um, we have to stay on the wall, we have to make sure that we are having that intimate relationship with God, that we are having those one-on-one -on -one conversations with God, that we are um, setting aside time to listen, to hear that which he is saying in, to us in this season. Um, we have to get up out of our personal feelings. A lot of um, people operate in their personal emotions. We have to learn how to step out of our personal emotions and um, you know, ask God for discernment and ask him to strengthen us in the areas of our life where we're weak. Um, we have to love one another. Um, I, you know, we may not like what somebody do, but that shouldn't make you not love that person. You know, and it's hard to love people when they wrong you. It's hard to forgive when somebody has betrayed you. Um, but we have to, not for them, but for us. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And so I just wanted to come on here and be transparent to you guys. Um, you know, we get, we as um, ministers, we get weak at times too. You know, we pour, we pour, we pour in people and then very few times we get poured back into. Um, so you just keep your, make sure that you're keeping your leaders and your um, spiritual people, um, spiritual um, friends or people that are pouring into you. Make sure that you're pouring back into them. Make sure that you're praying for them and uplifting them because they go through battles as well. Um, none of us are perfect and we all feel God daily, but we're striving to be pleasing in his sight. You know what I'm saying? And like I said, that walk ain't easy. It ain't easy at all. Um, so I just wanted to let you guys know that I understand the fight. I understand the struggles. I understand your weak points and everything, but I want to let, encourage you guys and let you guys know that all of us get that way. It's not just you, but you have to fight. You have to stay connected to the source because that's what, where we get our energy from to keep pressing forward, to keep moving forward, to keep pressing on, you know, we keep holding on to his unfailing hand because his hand is unfailing. Even in the midst of all the chaos, the evil, the hatred in the world today, we have to be that light that shines, you know, and the only way that our light bulb can shine is it, it's plugged into the source, that it's getting that energy from the upper, from God, you know. Um, we have to get peace, you know, ask God for peace, peace that surpasses our understanding. Um, people look at you and they wonder how you keep a smile on your face in the midst of all the 
from all that's going on. And it's because we have that, that godly peace, you know, that peace that no man can give you. And um, so it's great to ask for that. It's great to seek God on those things. Um, so like I said, I just want to come on here and encourage you guys and let you guys know that this walk is not easy, but it's well worth it. Make sure that you're staying connected in this season, in this year of 2023. I'm still saying that this is the year of the Psalms, the 23rd Psalms. Um, meditate on that. Meditate on that daily um, throughout this year and just watch God move. Be prepared for the tests that are coming. Pass the test this time. You know, we get sick of going through the same things over and over again, going through the same cycles. But the only reason why we go through the same cycles is because we're not passing the test. So since you know that the test is coming, study and pass that mug. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and so like I said, I am excited, excited, excited about this new year. I'm excited for it for you and for me i'm excited about the testimonies that are on the way i'm more excited about the healing reports that are on the way i'm believing god to do supernatural healings in the year of 2023 cancer has been on a rampage on this year and a lot of people has been getting dis discouraged behind it but i am believing god to do supernatural things in the bodies on this year those healing reports those good reports on um, when the doctor said no way god is saying yes there is a way in 2023 so i'm 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 excited in expectation for the testimonies on health and um and healing in this year and in this season. Um so guys, um like I said, I just wanted to come on here and encourage you guys on today. I got to get more consistent with my videos. Um, Like I said, I had a career change, so I'm getting adjusted to the schedule, but I got to stay the course. I got to do what God um, told me to do. I got to continue to be consistent and persistent in the vision that he has given me, and I pray that you guys are doing the same thing. Whatever God has given you to do, no matter what attacks or distractions come your way, make sure you're staying consistent and persistent in that thing so that you will reap the harvest that God has for you in your obedience because you are being obedient when you're um you know being consistent in whatever visions that he's giving you guys so with that being said thank you guys for supporting this channel thank you you guys for subscribing all that have subscribed thank you guys that have been sowing into the ministry i pray over your seeds i know god is going to do some miraculous things and multiplying in every area of your lives i am excited for you guys if you have not subscribed to the channel please do so please like and share help me to reach many with god's good news because his news is always good also 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 if you guys have any prayer requests please email the email address is listed in the description box below um i love you guys from the moon to the moon and back i pray you guys um have a prosperous abundant <laughs> miraculous 2023 and as i say in every one of my videos you guys be blessed and a blessing and happy new year